All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're just joining in, thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be side dressing our sweet corn. Got a couple of five gallon pails of urea there. Um, this here is our Alice Chalmers CA with the two row cultivator and the original side dressing brackets and everything. Those are the original bends on there as well. Um, this one over here, I just had to reinforce that when we got it. It was rotting out down there, so just put this ring around it, self-tapped it to it, and then I had a solid ring to bolt to. And as you can see, that's on there again, so. Uh, yeah, this is it. Um, how it works, go over a little function of it. So you see the runoff of the tires, obviously there, ground speed. So then when you drop the lift arm, that's gonna let this bracket go down like it is now. I can just unhook it here, maybe one-handed. So then when you lift them, it lifts it up. And you guys know what that is, so. Pretty simple process, uh, mechanism, you know. Um, same thing on this side then. Um, let me see here, you control how much you are putting on right here. By loosening this and moving this. You obviously put the fertilizer in here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, real simple thing. It's just awesome. It just drops the urea or whatever you're putting in right there next to the row. So I'm gonna get that dumped in there and uh, get you some footage. I got a new mount, so I'm excited about using that. And I'll get you guys some footage of this working and we'll go and take a look at Sweet Corn Patch. I know. All right, so here is the cockpit. If you thought it was hard getting off of, on and off of these things before them chains are on there, now it's real fun. Step right there is how I do it. Uh, that's where I'm gonna put you to start with here.
live and uh, record for you guys at the same time. Here. I'm gonna go first. More really slow. I'm doing a bit of a job. Okay, I'm gonna go in second. I don't want to talk about it. There we go. I got planted too close there. I'm gonna clear that all out. So I won't even cultivate that. I'll let the. Uh... Oh, did I mention that this was getting sprayed too? I may not have. I'll show you what we're gonna be spraying that with. I got that little short passage right over there. I did that corn. That corn's tall as can be. You can see I kind of knocked a little bit over there. Um, and I'll bring you over for a quick garden update as well. So I just wanted to. Let you guys listen to this for a second. Let's do a run. This was uh, one of the very first tractors that I overhauled on the farm years ago. Still running good. So that's that. I'm going to show you what we're going to be spraying with. Like I said, quick update in the garden. Alright, so that's what we got. One acre of sweet corn just to add water. No, I'm kidding. Don't really know how to pronounce that. Lotus. Taking a guess. And impact. Um, just to add water, I'm guessing that this is for two and a half gallons. Um, the tall stuff I'm gonna have to go through with the backpack sprayer because I let it get too tall. I won't be able to go through with the sprayer and spray it. Uh, but the short stuff we'll be able to use the sprayer. So another day we got some rain coming tonight, so I'm not gonna spray it tonight. Kind of defeat my purpose a little bit. Okay, so here is the garden starting to get overgrown, just the way we like it. You can see where we had good luck with the roundup through here. Hey, it's a good spot for the dog to take a poop. Good job. I'm actually going to come and spray some more Roundup here in just a couple minutes. Um, a lot of these are set in tomatoes. Uh, sweet corn's looking good. Like I said, I bent it over a little bit when I was cultivating, but that'll all come back and be just fine. Remember this one I showed you guys. They're coming. They're all over the place. This plant's pretty much covered in them as well. Some starting there, some small ones starting. Small ones starting. They are coming along just great. Um, whew. Always forget them eggplants are pokey. Eggplants are doing good. Got to get some broccoli picked here. Uh, which one? That one right there needs to be picked. A couple of them are really close. Uh, the cauliflower is getting really close. Um, peppers are doing good. Habaneros. These are. Oh, those are habaneros. These are uh, hot banana. Anyway, blabbing on. Calarabis, potatoes, sweet potatoes. Uh, something that I'm pretty happy about. Our pumpkin plant. Okay, so I'd like to thank Robert Drake 
uh, Robert Drake Farms. He's got a nice YouTube channel on there, kind of straight to the point, direct guy. Uh, um, but anyway, he commented on my, when I showed the pumpkin last time, saying that uh, it was probably a squash vine borer. And um, sure enough, that's what it was. Um, so there was three plants in this hill. The one plant died. Um, this one right here was not affected by it. But this one right here, you see the split? Um, what I did was I came out here with a razor blade and I cut that open. And I dug the larvae out of there. And then I just let it go. Look at this. Uh, brought this one back to life. It was starting to wilt. Uh, just like the other plant that I took off and uh, So yeah, I got really lucky it looks like it's healed itself good So if you guys notice that uh, the first day that it starts to wilt you you have a chance to get it I just like I said I cut that open with a razor blade and I got all of them larvae out of there and It's healed itself up and look at that growing good. It's not caught up to these yet, but um these are them table squash. They have set, there's quite a few of them on here. Squash, squash, squash. This little guy. It just started growing finally. Uh, winter squash. This was another one, same thing. Um, squash vine borer, got to it. Um, I got it sprayed with bug spray now, so we won't have that problem again, I hope. The muskmelon, muskmelon, watermelon. I gotta get these kinda going into fashion. The pumpkin and this were growing together and I separated them and you can see that they're kinda headed that way. That's where I want that to grow. I'm gonna have this pumpkin kinda, um, kinda fill in this, this area here and uh, this one actually needs to get brought, it needs to go this way, so um, that's what we'll be getting to. But yeah, all in all, everything's looking good. Weeds, uh, main problem, weeds. But other than that, everything's growing fine. There's enough nutrients in it that um, it's not really gonna fight these, these is, this is oats. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. There's a corn out there. Um, look forward to seeing me out on the bean buggy. I was using it some today. I got about eight rows done and just seeing how everything was working and got a couple things adjusted and it worked great. So uh, way better than walking. Let me tell you what, I got those eight rows done in no time compared to walking. So like I said, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this one and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Something about these, uh, I want to point out them pellets that I got from Menards, they didn't do a thing. The rabbits gave zero, they, they didn't care about it. Um, but anyway, when you shave, shave your hair, it's about the best thing. Put it down here and they quit eating my broccoli leaves off. So 